As police in Kansas City say an 84 year old man is now out on bond after allegedly shooting a black teenage boy who mistakenly went to his home. Last week, 16 year old Ralph Yarl went to the wrong address to pick up his younger twin brothers, 115th Street instead of Terrace, which was a block away. The homeowner, Andrew Lester, shot him in the head and in the arm. Police took Lester into custody Friday, but he was released without charges, sparking outrage and protests. Lester surrendered to police today. He faces charges of first-degree assault and armed criminal action. Joining us now to break it all down is News Nation correspondent Marky Martin. Hey, Marky. Hey, Elizabeth, I can tell you 16-year-old Ralph Yarl is officially out of the hospital. He's been discharged. So the good news, Elizabeth, is that he is in recovery and he gets to do so from the comforts of his own home. But his shooting has sparked outrage, particularly from those who do believe the incident was racially motivated. And last night, the man accused of pulling that trigger was officially charged. Tonight, the 84-year-old suspect accused of shooting 16-year-old Ralph Yarl has posted bail after turning himself into authorities this afternoon. Nationwide support continues to pour in for the Kansas City, Missouri boy, who police say was shot in the head and arm when he mistakenly went to the wrong house to pick up his younger brother. He's in good spirits. Uh, he's, he cracked a smile today. Felony charges of first degree assault and armed criminal action filed against Lester. As the prosecutor, Clay County, I can tell you there was a racial component to the case. But the prosecutor clarified that nothing in the charging documents says the shooting was racially motivated. According to the probable cause statement, Lester told police he had gone to bed around 9 p.m. when he heard his doorbell ring. He says he picked up the gun, saw a black male standing outside, and thought someone was breaking in. Black lives are under attack. What do you do? Stand up like this. Yarl's shooting igniting outrage. The 16-year-old is a bass clarinetist who plays several instruments in the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra of Kansas City. His school district praising him as an excellent student and talented musician. This morning, hundreds of Jarl's classmates holding a walkout in solidarity. His family now demanding answers. That man could have called police if he suspected something. He could have called 911 to shoot. That was wrong. And Elizabeth, Missouri is a stand your ground state where you're allowed to use a lethal force in self defense. However, the prosecutor in this case saying this was not self defense. Elizabeth. No, Marky. In fact, there are reports that it was a double door and he actually shot through one of those doors to hit Ralph Jarl, correct? That I actually have not heard if he shot through the door, or if he actually opened that storm door that is talked about uh, in that uh, probable cause statement. Uh, but again, Ralph was hit in the forehead, in the forearm. He's at home. And also, by the way, Elizabeth, when you talk about the community and the world rallying around him, I just refreshed his GoFundMe page. He has raised north of $3 million. Oh, my Elizabeth. gosh. Wow. All right, Marky Martin, thanks for that reporting tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.